Okay guys, um, here we are for one more wrench test, this time for the multi-protocol module with the DSTM32 chip um, and the 4-in-1 four in, four in uh, module from Banggood. So, let me turn this on. I put this in the, the worst position possible. I'm at 1.5 km away from home. The antenna of the radio at home is vertical. Let's see if this picks up the signal immediately. This is the worst possible position. Well, it did. As you can see, it's working. And uh, uh, the thing is, is this antenna that is on. It's a green light there. And now it changed, of course. Got The other got better signal. So here we are. I'm going to do a 360. I don't know if my house is uh, from here is the line of view is direct view from the house probably so let's do a 360 like this it's gonna be a very quick test because uh, it's bloody cold here it's minus two so my body is in front of the receiver put and now of course it stopped because I put the antennas completely different position so 360 body in front and still working let me try something here a bit more to this side and try to do the same see if it stops it does because there's the wood in front and everything so well, look I put the wood in front so it, it stop if I put a bit up it will start again see even with my body, but body and wood is a bit too much. So let's do this now. This is the worst that you can do to the antennas. The antennas pointing at the at the transmitter. My body is in front. I'm just not putting the wood in front, but my body is in front. Service is still moving, as you can say. Now I stopped a little bit. It's normal. I don't know if the multi-protocol is less powerful than the DHDJT and the DHT, but at the moment they look quite similar. So let's do this now. It's working. 260. 360 like this. Let's move. You can hear the servo. I'm going to bring the, my body in front of it. I'm going to put the wood in front of it and it's not stopping, it's working as you can see in this position, because one antenna is vertical so here they're both horizontal, the antenna in the transmitter is vertical and even like now it's not stopping <laughs> even though it's not stopping, look it's good, wonderful so I'm going to put it on the ground Do the antenna covering thing, which antenna is working now is the one, oh, it changed now to the one that is vertical I'm going to cover the vertical it's flickering between one and the other eventually stopped because the other one is, has worse signal so, it's trying to go to the other one and the other one is also working, it's flickering between both of, both of them now it's in the horizontal antenna What's the matter here? Now it's on the horizontal antenna. I, sorry guys, I pressed the wrong button. Now it's on the vertical antenna again. I covered the vertical, goes to the horizontal, but it stopped now. The, this is on the ground. This is on the ground at 1.5 km away. So let's go to the top of the car. I put, keep putting here. And I'm going to try to do the, some diversity test. But I'm gonna have to turn this around because I have to see the antennas, which antenna is on. So now is the vertical antenna that is on. I covered and it passed to the other one. You can see it's the green one now. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's the green. But it didn't stop. I take it out. Now I'm gonna cover the other one. And this should move to the other antenna. 
it's not at the moment but it's not you know why because it's not losing packets it's not losing frames so it's not passing not moving to the other antenna you have to do something like this probably so it moves to the vertical antenna look no it's not moving it's not losing frames RSSI must be too high at home 1.5 kilometer I'm not sure let's see if I cover with the car maybe to I make a change yeah now it's, it's trying to now it changed look it starts losing frames wow wow if that is the case guys wow if that is the case wow so now is the, the vertical antenna that is on even the horizontal antenna was was doing a good job you didn't want to pass to the to the horizontal to the vertical one look i'm holding the vertical antenna with my hand and it's not changing antennas that means or something is wrong or this shit is getting a very good signal here so you know what my hands are freezing frozen i tend to go home and check the rssi for this thing thanks for watching guys